Hi, Dr. B here, demystifying the DSM and uh, finishing up the psychotic disorders. Um, so we've been going over all the different psychotic disorders and the last, you know, seven disorders here in this um, cluster are really just not specifically psychotic disorders treated by a psychiatrist. Um, the, we have the substance abuse psychotic disorder. So this uh, means that somebody is intoxicated and they come in and they're psychotic because they're intoxicated. Um, or someone who's going through withdrawal and has psychotic symptoms during withdrawal. Now, we, you can actually, with long-term use, or sometimes if you don't come out of this psychotic episode, it could actually um, be a brief psychotic episode that turns into schizophrenia with long-term use. So there, um, so this is kind of that that diagnosis that's given if um, somebody is intoxicated and they're psychotic, right? But if they continue with psychotic symptoms, and this is where I can start to get personal again, um, my brother, who I've talked about in other videos. Um, has had a substance abuse problem most of his life. Started with alcohol, then took cocaine, and in the last five years he's been using meth. And about two years ago, he had a substance abuse psychotic episode. And I, I told him, please stop, please stop. I mean, obviously I've been trying to get him to stop uh, using for years. Everybody has um, this threshold for psychosis. And um, a substance can, can throw you over that and you are not able to come back. Um, and that's kind of where he is now, five years of using meth and he meets criteria for schizophrenia and likely even with sobriety will not go back to complete um, normalcy. So uh, obviously don't do drugs, but this is um, one of the diagnoses that you may see. The other is um, psychosis due to a medical condition. So you could have um, someone with Alzheimer's, ALS, other kinds of dementias that are actually beginning to have psychotic symptoms. They're not schizophrenic. Their brain is, is changing and it, it can't compensate, can't adjust. And so therefore um, they have this secondary psychosis due to their uh, medical condition and it's important to differentiate that um, you know for the family's sake and for the person's sake that this is not schizophrenia um, it is due to their medical condition if it comes on acutely um, so dement it can be in dementia so you have a known uh, neurological problem and the then you start to have psychotic symptoms then that is um, psychosis related to your neurological condition. But if you are completely normal, have no uh, known diagnoses, and abruptly start having psychotic symptoms, that delirium needs to be ruled out, right? Because this is, a delirium is like psychotic symptoms related to an acute medical condition, right? Something that can be treated. We see this a lot in elderly. Well, they will, um, they'll be fine. And then all of a sudden it's like they have, you know, dementia and uh, psychosis. That is likely delirium. Go to the emergency room, get a medical workup. The most common reason is actually a UTI, uh, which is kind of, you, you don't, you know, you wouldn't connect those two symptoms, right? So important that if it comes on acutely, you get a full medical workup. Um, if you don't have a diagnosis, you get a full medical workup. If somebody comes in my office at 65, 70 years old with psychotic symptoms and never having any mental health concerns, maybe some depression in their life, but never any major psychotic uh, concerns in their entire life, we need to do an MRI, we need to you know, work that up medically because there uh, likely is a dementia diagnosis. Um, now to your pro providers out there, sometimes um, 
somebody will come in and tell me they have no history um, and I will do that whole medical workup to find out, you know, when their brother calls me that, you know, they've been uh, diagnosed with schizophrenia since they were 20. So um, a good history is super important. Um, but if it comes on uh, late in life, schizophrenia and other psychotic disorders are usually in the 20s. So if they come up um, in an older aged person and you have uh, somebody there to confirm that they have no psychotic history, that needs to be worked up medically, acutely or long term. So that is the end of our psychotic series. The last couple are ones that we don't use very often and are very specific to specialties. So thank you um, and you are mentally strong.